Hey there, Magic One. Just before we get into your tarot reading, I wanted to jump in super quick, I promise, just with a few announcements for you. Should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself, you can do so at any time by either clicking the link to my website down below or visiting wildlotustarot.com. I do have a new little offering which I think is, is kind of cute. It's actually the most affordable way to get guidance from me and in that reading I draw you a single tarot card from the beautiful Star Child Tarot and write you a handwritten letter about my interpretation of that card for you and I post it to your letterbox. You can now show your support by becoming a member of my channel. If you head to my channel page and click the join button, there's a video there where I describe in detail what I'm offering for my two different levels of membership. Don't forget the doors are always open to the initiation. That is my immersive learn tarot journey. You can sign up at any time and receive lifetime access to all of the learning materials, videos, online learning modules, practices. Uh, and in that course, I, I am teaching my signature process to learn how to read tarot, not just from the head, but from the heart um, and go beyond the traditional card meanings and, and how to put it all together and thread it into a story as well. So that's available at any time. I'll also link that down below for you. You can find me on Instagram if you'd like to stay connected and hear a little bit more about me. Uh, you can find the link down below or you can find me at wild underscore lotus underscore tarot. I would love to have you over there with me as well. Till next time, sending you so much love and magic. Let's get on with your reading. Welcome to your tarot reading for May 16th through to the 22nd. Let's see what could be on the cards for you for the week. I've got the nine card block here, Libra, three recent past, three focus energy, three future outcome. I have a selection of oracles, a lead tarot energy. I've turned over the bottom of the deck for you. Um, I'm feeling similarities with the Gemini reading that I've just done. I actually pulled the same oracle card in exactly the same position and I had all of these cards down here in that reading as well. So if you do have if you do have Gemini in your chart as well, you might want to pop over and watch that one. Okay, uh, interesting energy here. I just see some kind of um, release from struggle here. I see a moving on energy, but we also have this beautiful messenger of opportunity at the end of the reading as well. So, you know, if you're worried about, you know, letting something go, be it a job or a relationship, because, you know, there's something that you're going to be missing or lacking, it feels like that need is going to be looked after. But we'll get to that. Let's start over here. Okay. Now, the, the oracles here are the sacred flow of yes and what's your honest truth. Okay. So this is a time to get very, very clear with, um, you know, who you are and, and what you're really wanting for your future. Okay. It's definitely not a time to have the blindfold on. There might have been a certain amount of things that you haven't been, you know, wanting to see in this situation. Maybe you've been, um, you, you know, the truth, truth within, but you've been giving people the benefit benefit of the doubt or you've been like no no we can we can keep we can keep trying to make this happen but it kind of feels like this is the week to get you know crystal clear with does the situation align with your values your inner truth um, is there a common vision for where you want to go with your life and if not this is a time to reassess now the sacred flow of yes for me is a card of surrender it is a card of um, ending the struggle, the push, the fight uh, in a situation. I'm seeing the nine of wands up here and that can be a long fought battle, you know. Um, you know, often if we've invested in, say, a relationship or a, or a job or a career path or, or something like that, we've put a lot of time, effort and energy and we've, almost, and we've built a tower around it. It can be a very hard thing to come to terms with the fact that it's not working or it's not what we want anymore. So we can, of course, keep fighting for it, you know, keep trying to take more action um, to keep things together. The sacred flow of yes is just surrendering to your truth in this situation and allowing that then to, you know, flow in the direction that it wants to go. Okay, which six of swords down here, I feel, is a, is a moving on from this. Now, your dreams need a practical plan. So if you're going to leave this job, leave this relationship, let this go. 
um, you are going to need to put a plan in place okay so you might be needing to look for another place to live you might be needing to look for another job um, there might be all sorts of things that you are needing to um, you know actually research and put a plan in place this is not a time this is not a fool's journey even though we have the Queen of Wands here which is Aries energy this feels like it needs to be um, done practically in steps and with an organized plan behind it okay we've got a page of cups here this is definitely a card of the sacred flow of yes it's a synchronistic energy for me so some of you may have had a new opportunity come in you might have met someone um, you might have had another job offer and this has been the very thing that's kind of um, you know made your juices flow again um, after a time where you've kind of been in a situation that's all been struggle page of cups comes in as something joyful something exciting something that's giving back to you so that may have happened for some of you or it could actually be linked to the page of Pentacles down here okay but it feels like there is something for you to to move towards now I'm also feeling like this what I'm seeing in the in the outcome here not to kind of spoiler alert but it feels like there is someone or something that you're actually wanting to move towards um, but you've got all this kind of clean up to do first so we'll get to the three of swords because that that's linking in around about here so eight of swords nine of swords nine of wands there is a long-term kind of struggle situation or something you've been fighting to keep together that isn't working for you anymore now eight of swords um, I think there's a little bit of denial about this and you know you're not kind of wanting to see the details or you've just kind of been like doing everything you can to you know push back on that truth within you coming up because um, once you see you can't unsee right once you kind of acknowledge that to yourself so when I see the eight of swords it's somebody who is you know in the mental overwhelm that maybe that truth has come up for you or it could mean that you've been using all of your mental energy just to keep going in the situation and block out all the intuitions right third eye heart gut there's bindings all around that it's like I will not look at what is really going on and what I really feel no no everything's okay but this really is the time that I feel like the blindfold has come off and you're really really wanting to move forward quickly now it's like as soon as you kind of like got over that maybe that fear of you know what's going on here and what you truly feel about it now you're wanting to charge just charge forward knight of swords you're wanting to to move quickly um you may be dealing with a gemini and as i said there is a lot of similarity between the gemini reading because the knight of swords is gemini for me I have yeah lovers is Gemini also for me and I have Aries with the Queen of Wands that's the signs I have here so nine of wands I feel like you have endured the kind of struggle the battle it feels like you know greener pastures are behind you and it's really time to to liberate from this so we've got three of Pentacles Queen of Wands and the ten of wands here and of course we have the three of swords down here also um, with the three of pentacles there could be multiple people in the situation yes there can be th third parties yes you may have another employer or another person to go to that is definitely coming through and that would yeah, indicate that there is yeah, it's a triangulated situation I feel with the Queen of Wands at the center of the reading here it's the opposite to the Eight of Swords the Queen of Wands is head up eyes open looking to the future you know she's seeing it all and she's using that vision to make a practical plan to move forward she's the energy of determination and Aries energy bold action okay not the fool's journey though it's got a practical plan behind it but it is about taking action and she follows the instincts right she's all instinct and passion not mind and you know really trying to, to follow the, the logic here so with the three of swords and the ten of wands I feel like there is an ending of something that has been weighing on you for some time and I think there's going to be a huge sigh of relief and breathe out once you know you know well, not once you know you you already know but once you look at that truth and make that decision to move forward three of swords is painful if it wasn't painful you would have done it earlier um, you would have taken the blindfold off but the three of swords is is pain but painful endings normally and severing of ties but it's a three for a reason because three is this amazing creative rebirthing number 
um, in num numerology and in tarot is the energy of creation so it says that out of the pain out of the heartbreak out of the ending you have this juicy opportunity to to head in a new direction that's going to give you the promise of joy and harmony and page of cups energy like fun synchronicity all of that so that's what I'm feeling here you know it's it's time it's time for that ten of wands you've carried it for long enough and you know again we see somebody else with their vision blocked it's like the only way to carry on in this situation is to put your head back in the sand again and not see but you will be carrying a lot of burden and stress into your body through that now I've got the six of swords the major arcana here of the lovers which is also number six and I've got the page of pentacles instead there is some kind of big pull to move in a new direction of peace of harmony and this opportunity here which if it hasn't come in if you don't have another um, offer that has been the catalyst for this forward movement I feel like that is coming if you seek it page of pentacles page of cups something that has the promise of keeping you happy and in a new direction that can become solid secure but it is in its early stages so I guess that's where the slight risk element comes in but if you do put a practical plan in place then it feels like you know you can mitigate some of that yes with the lovers it could be a person that you are moving towards or I always see you know like the relationship cards in a general reading can be like an organization as well and the six of of swords is like leaving a highly emotionally charged situation for calmer waters smoother sailing but we see these people here with their head hang hung low and it's like it's with a heavy heart right even if we want if we want this it, there's always you know things to look, let go maybe people to hurt but it's just part of the process of change the lovers is also a card of choice like big choices around matters of the heart and it asks you to choose wisely because generally somebody will get hurt here but sometimes it's just that time to move to the new and it's saying what's your honest truth because it seems like the situation is not fully aligned with who you are and where you want to go now also the page of cups just to mention this can be about you heading in a direction that's very different like offbeat um that you didn't consider or that you've maybe the very thing that you've been trying to suppress or to not to not have play out in your life oh that's all we need that's the death card it's the death card but in this particular uh, star child tarot it's called transformation because you have the opportunity to move towards the light and transform form your life by clearing a slate by letting something go that has reached its you know it's reached its peak of sight uh, of growth and it's down the other side and now it's kind of become the, the the bindings it's become the small space the chamber and you're being called forth to the Sun energy a positive new chapter a chapter of new growth and a chapter of expansion so that's what I have for you Libra and I'm wishing you all the best with this if it's your story do keep in mind it is a general reading for the collective it's not meant to resonate with everybody every time but please do leave me a comment if you're called to share I do read them all and try to get back to as many of you as I can hit subscribe if you haven't already um, it makes a significant difference to supporting the channel and being able to continue doing these readings so it would be a great energy exchange between us um, as is when you like share and comment on the videos and I'm wishing you all the best Libra do take care. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.